Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Seashell here. Thank you for stopping by and checking out what I promised was going to be another fun Christmas make. And this is, of course, for hashtag Saturday Morning Makes. And um, this this is a card, actually, that I made uh, when I did the other video for the Christmas cards that I uh, created. And I just forgot to upload this one. But um, this one just features the little uh, elf holding the little um, packages and using the word joy. And I just use mix and match some of my dyes just to create um, this cute little card. But what um what I want to show you guys is another project that I created uh, for hashtag Saturday Morning Makes. And before we get into it, I want to sort of give you uh, what was my inspiration. And I'll just move this. Uh, my inspiration for this project, uh, I was watching a video on YouTube. It's the Disneyland, it's a Christmas, the Disneyland, a Christmas fantasy parade. And there were these big cookbook floats that uh, was going through the parade. And I thought... Wow, that is just absolutely beautiful. And so it sort of inspired me to create what I'm going to show you right now. And it is this beautiful recipe box. So let me zoom out here. So these floats that were in the parade. They were shaped like cookbooks. And it said recipe from the from gingerbread treats. And so when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, that is just so adorable. So going in my stash, uh, I had these little wooden spoons, this little cartoonery board, that a uh, little cutting board that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I had these little uh, clips that had the little apple pies on there. I had these little flat uh, wooden embellishments. And this one was, uh, actually, it's a glove, little winter glove. But I decided to make it a little um, pot holder. And I just thought that that would just work out really great. So the base of this box... And let me take the cards out. The base of this box is actually one of the little um, boxes that you get from Dollar Tree. And I have a couple of these in my stash. And I like using these. And then I had this little piece here. This one actually came from... Um, it was called a 3D... It's the 3D... Um, what is that thing? It's it's the piece that I used, I think that I showed you guys when I made the countdown calendar. Um no, 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 no. Not the countdown calendar. It was uh some pieces that you could do 3D and it had oh uh, let me show you this. It had these little pieces that you could create a scene and that's what it was so it was uh this piece this piece it was a little house and it was something else but i used those in another project but um this was the piece that came with that because this is what you you know you're supposed to be able to slide these pieces into there and create your little scene like that and they just lock in place but i didn't use these and like i said i'm going to use these for another project and so the spoon 
again, it was from the the fall um, sale that they had. And these are the little bamboo spoon sets. You get six pieces in there. And then these are the little clips that I got from uh, Dollar Tree. And they have the little clothespin on the back of them. Then I also used some uh, wooden beads that was in my stash. And these little metal uh, pieces. I have a lot of um, embellishments, little pieces and stuff that I keep in like a little... Um, can like this and so I used that and I used uh, these little uh, these little words these come from the uh, the Tim Holtz ideology these are the typography uh, little plastic letters and I just have a bag of those and then let's see what else the paper yes the paper inside here this comes from this paper stash is called uh, measure mix and stir and this is a, a paper studio uh, card stock collection everything you know with cooking and whatnot and I've showed you guys this one because I've used this one before you know, when I was doing some of my little recipe cards. So I used paper from that collection. And that's what I used to line the box. And so, again, um, watching this parade, if you do get a chance, go check out, again, like I say, uh, Disneyland's A Christmas Fantasy Parade. And you'll see, uh, when you see the little gingerbreads and the people coming out and dancing and stuff, you'll see how this may remind you of that. But anyway, I just thought that it was just so cute. And I wanted just to, com you know, comprise all these elements together just to make this fun little recipe box holder, actually, too. So, the way this works, the box, of course... Will hold all the recipes like that and you can use you know little small books um, little small cards big recipe cards other types of files that you have now you don't have to use this as a recipe you know holder you can actually use this to just to hold some of your tools or you know whatever you want to make it's up to you but this is the, the base of it, and this can hold, you know, pretty much anything. Your scissors, your pens, you want to make notes, that sort of thing like that. It'll, you know, you have your pen and paper. Matter of fact, you can put your pen in here um, so that you can uh, write your recipes down. So... You take your recipe card, and I'll just use this one. This is um, the pumpkin bar recipe, the Diana Markham uh, monthly stamp from um, Adornant. And so you can just rest your card onto the little board like this. And it just holds up really well. It won't fall because the spoon will secure it. Or you can just take the little clip here. And then just clip it into place. And so I was so excited when I started creating this um, this little box. Um, just so many little ideas came to me and I, I just had a ball. I used some of this uh, wood grain uh, paper that I have in my stash because I again wanted it to look like a crate. And then I just connected everything together and put the... Uh, the little balls on the bottom and there you have it it's just a wonderful little functional piece i just absolutely love it and so uh i have you know started my collection of the stamps uh the monthly stamps the uh, diana markham stamps and i printed and colored some stuff out and so i just need to mount them onto you know some cardstock 
But I just wanted to come on and share this little great little idea with you. Um, this was another little thing that I made to hold these little recipe cards. I got these little cards years ago. And they are just full of cookies and desserts. And they're really absolutely adorable. And they come in like, you know, this little size like that. And so I can clip them onto the little board like that and go to town making my cookies and making whatever recipe. So this was really easy to make. Uh, so if you, if you find, you know, you get these little boxes uh, from Dollar Tree. And I was, oh, I'll show you. I have one here. So, this right here, though, I couldn't find this size because, again, that came with the little 3D kit. But they do have these little pallets that you can use. And then you can do, here's another little box like this. So, you can actually, you know, connect that together like that. If you want to try, if you can find these little items and then put your little, uh, little feet on the bottom you can use those little flat little tiles like the little word um scrabble tiles you can use those as little feet and just connect it together like that paint it finish it up however you choose um this is the other box here and that's another way that you can probably uh, attach that so there's just a lot of ways that you can really um, do this little project if you want to leave some space like that that way you can let's see like take this card and be able to sit the card like that in there you could do something like that so this is absolutely cute so you do that same thing attach that and then use some little tiles on the back just to keep this even I don't think it would tilt over um, but you know just to have a finished piece like that so another little fun project I tell you I am um, I'm so inspired when it comes to uh, making things that I have uh, in my stash and just taking advantage of all the uh, little things that you can get that you don't think that like wow what can I do with this give it a shot so I love it tell me what you think about this and uh, if you got any questions uh, leave them in the description box or in the, the comment box below and give it a try so thank you for joining me today for another fun make for hashtag Saturday Morning Make, sponsored by, or not sponsored by, but hosted by Jill Norwood. <laughs> so, all right, everyone, take care, and I will see you guys in another video. And I got another project that I want to share with you, really, really special, so make sure you come back. All right, take care, everyone.